All right, people. Welcome back. More League. Woo! Final weekend, people. We are wrapping this up. I know. So, uh, this... for uh, what you about to say? Something? I was about to say this is for the illustrious third place. Yeah, I was about to say uh, the I winner mean, of this place... will get a bun. <laughs> third I'm place fine. really doesn't matter. There's no prize for third place. It's literally for entertainment's sake and for the finale build up. So, like all right, I said, hold we're... on, hold on, hold on. You're sounding robotic. I am. Were when you were talking just then on Skype. Am I okay now? No, say something. Say something now. Something now. Yeah, you're sounding slightly robotic. Like there's a tinge to your voice. Mm -hmm. on Skype. You sound fine to me. That? I mean, should we I don't just know, maybe it's your going? end. Yeah, maybe it's my uh, end. I mean, it's important yeah, that it's... we just found sound fine on my end. So as long as you can hear me. I guess. I mean, let's let's go. Let's go with it. Okay. Okay. We don't got let's time. Let's go with it, and then and then for the next match, and then just watch it back a little bit, and then you know, on the next match, you can we'll know ahead of time, won't we? If you can. Okay. So yeah, uh, you guys tell us. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, third place. It's literally for entertainment sakes. <laughs> Just to give you guys an oh, it's, a, it's for that illustrious bronze medal. No one cares loser. about bronze medal. The loser gets a tinfoil medal. Damn. A tin foil. All right, first gets gold, second gets silver, third gets bronze, and fourth gets shit. Yes, you get a shit medal. That's what you get for getting fourth. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yes. So what does Kyle get? <laughs> so, uh... Apologize, we forgot to introduce the teams and everything. Hello, go ahead and introduce what we got. All right, so we have the uh, god, what is it? Galaxy Photons Luna using your sand juice versus the use star dragons Omega using ritual beasts here. <laughs> Although you wouldn't know that from the fucking way that they're playing. Set yep, five, so. <laughs> yep, set five, and <laughs> and I, yep. there at least we see something. If that bear is not gonna live, that bear will not fucking live. You know, and as, sorry, we know, yeah. as we know from Ritual Beast, you know, sometimes they open up meh, sometimes they open up yay. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, Mega didn't, you know, attempt to go for the mulligan. Yeah. Yeah, I would have. Like, no, yeah. Because Ritual Beast with no fucking monsters, that sounds fun. <laughs> I even told before that we did these matches that, you know, you, it's the same as last week. You get, you know, one mulligan per match each player does, you know. So... I guess I'm I don't know, like, maybe I'm I don't want to waste the... use it. Yeah, I guess I don't want to use I'm... the mulligan on this one. So... On game one of my... Oh my god. <laughs> the back row. <laughs> the back row. We see the Phoenix turn on now you know why t Now you know why the video is 49 fucking minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> was like... I was like, well, one of you two, please do something. <laughs> oh, yes, fucking people. kill me now. This is the end of season one. I know. Uh, you guys will miss it. It's It's fine. And before you ask, not anytime soon, okay? <laughs> we are not gonna just jump into frickin' season two. Like, no, not even. Season two next week confirmed. <laughs> I will fucking kill myself before that. <laughs> I've got a lovely tie and a lovely light on the ceiling, and I can just jump off my bed. <laughs> <sighs> and this yeah. duel is going as slow as you would think it would go, <laughs> with all that background. Yeah. I said it's a, it, it's time to push, people. I mean, you can't give me much back row than what you already have. So, you know, monsters beat back row. So, just mm -hmm. attack, 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 get it in. Oh, 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 there's that warning. Well, you, well, I mean, what, what, uh, what I was saying to Luna because me when I was recording this, me, Luna, and Omega were all just in a call talking with each other. So I wasn't obviously recording any audio because we we're going to post come over it later. Um, and Luna remembered like later on, like, oh, is a best effect to you know send the tanky to the grave cost? I'm like, yeah, it's a cost. Yeah, and so like, oh, I could have done that. To, I could have done that to free up some battery earlier. I'm like, mm hmm. <laughs> Is that that tanky there not doing fucking shit for you? Oh, 100 extra points. <gasps> oh my god. Like, right now, Luna, you could just go bear effect, you know, throw the tanky, it's negated. Sure, whatever. Yep. Well, no, he has to have a monster, like Magna does. Does it? I'm pretty uh, sure. I think it's just the monster, period. Can bear target itself? I don't think bear can target itself. Let me lock it up. That'd be interesting if Bear can go ahead and throw the chair at itself. 
Yeah, I'm gonna just get myself with this chair right in the face. Boom. <laughs> One monster on the field, yes, it could be one of Luna's monsters or itself. Yeah, just target a monster on yeah. the field, yep. One of the turn you can send one face up, fire formation spell, trap card, you control a graveyard, then target one monster on the field. So, you can go yep. send, target itself, send, send negated. Send, itself, but it negated, yeah, exactly, because it's the cost to send the fire formation. Yep, so, that Lunar, holy <laughs> shit, so much background and resources and... <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, I now have... you think about turning the bear into defense mode. What the fuck not? Yeah, because, yeah, you know, I guess <sighs> Luna's going to push. That's why he's like, no mirror force. Like, fuck it. Like, at this point, just just fuck it. Like, holy shit. And Omega, you want to actually get into this door? <laughs> you wouldn't even know that Omega's playing Ritual Beast if it wasn't for the title of the fucking video. Omega's playing Bat Road up deck. Seriously. Like, I know by now you've gotten some rich Beast players. Like, come on. Yeah, but then, yeah, but even if Omega's got the ritual Beast, he has to fight for Luna's battery, too. Hey, fuck it. At this point, sitting there doing nothing ain't gonna help. True. Just like how Luna's fighting through your back row, you're gonna have to fight through Luna's back row. This duel is stupid. <laughs> Luna's just sat there poking, like, poke, poke, poke. Like I said, He's that's 19. the one thing I do not like about Yu-Gi-Oh. The back row to back row hate ratio is fucking ridiculous. Stupid, yeah. And yet people still bitch about fucking Royal Decree. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay, man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you have to expect that. Yeah, so, oh, hey. Mega did it. Lunar did it. Everybody has a warning. I mean, it's a, we're already into the first ten cards of the fucking duel. And they both, hey, but, of hey, got it. Okay. No, number generator doesn't exist. I mean, that's Sleep Warrior. <laughs> and who was that other guy who said about fucking luck doesn't matter in Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, like yeah, but, you know, that's them, because they're, they're pros. They know what they're on about, clearly. So you got to force your way through it. <laughs> yeah. We'll still complain about fucking Royal Decree. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I really don't want to get sit, yeah. sit here and get wound up by back row, so my bad if I want to play fucking a little bit of Royal Decree. It's a risk versus reward when it comes to that card. Yeah. Because, okay. of course, you can't... It shuts down your opponent's traps, but then get, and you're not but then again, you're not playing traps to protect yourself, so... Or it shuts down your traps as well, so... <laughs> so yeah. There are. Uh, there's risk versus there's reward factor to it. I said, there's gotta be, there's gotta be when it comes to shit like this in Yu-Gi-Oh. There's gotta be some risk versus reward, or else it's just too broken. Mm -hmm. you know, people are like, oh, everybody can run fucking Pot of Greed. That's true, but since there's no, you know, risk versus reward, it just becomes a sacky, dirty card in which whoever gets it first, like, the advantage is just real if you can pull it off. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And that's why I'm actually looking at you, Regeki. There's no, there's no risk to you. That's why I don't like you. Um, right? Like you, you literally just came off, come off unbanned, in the hype of destruction's not good. Like I don't know. I and mean, now just, destruction's getting good again. Yeah, now destruction's getting good again. And Rege damn, are you okay? <laughs> I, I I caught the corner of my glass with my uh, hand and I just sent it flying across the fucking room and there's ice all over the floor now. Oh, well, too bad you can't just stop. We gotta keep going. <laughs> so impressive. You know, it's, like I said, it, uh, destruction's getting back popular, you know. And yeah, sometimes there's the way you don't want to destroy, but you know, if you can go ahead and wrap the duel up and push, like. It may not be good, but there's there's never a time right now where destruction's bad, you know? So, and when you're looking at destruction, <gasps> how did you know? <laughs> and when you're looking at destruction, you know, number one card to go to is, of course, Regeki. You know? And I said, I would, I would much rather have Regeki be banned in Dark Hole at 3, where there's a risk-reward factor, you know? And of course, Torrental is still good too, but even that card has a risk reward factor. But at least you can, the advantage you can play it on your opponent's turn it's much faster than just Spell Speed 2. So it makes it just mm -mm -mm good in comparison to, you know, the Spell Speed 1 Dark Hole and Regeki. But yeah, there's just, there's risk reward, you know? Soul Charge. I mean, I don't like that risk reward, but, you know, 
the the reward is, you know, you get to summon all the monsters in the graveyard. The risk, you got to pay life points, which can eventually inevitably end your duel, and uh, uh, you can't attack. You know, just risk and reward. You know, vanities, emptiness. Yeah, sure, you can't special summon, but I can't special summon either. And that whole. It's all right, you, know, man, you stay on your soapbox. I'm just cleaning up the mess I made. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. And while uh, it's not really made, it just happened to be a. Uh, just a mechanic of Yu-Gi-Oh where you can floodgate your opponent through that and kind of lock them out. It's unfortunate, yeah. but that's just kind of how it works, you know. You know, I, mean, I don't think Konami could... intentionally uh-huh. made the card like that, and even they're like, "Hey, we're gonna offer you an out if something from their f- deck or field is sent to here, it dies too." You know, it's like it's like a more balanced version of like Royal Oppression, but still, it definitely deserves a spot at one. But you know, I, I'm not in the boat where I think it should be banned. The steez stuff. <laughs> I know. So finally, Omega Chaos is actually into this duel. Yep, finally into this duel. I wanted to see a Pelio getting some dark attacks in and see a steez go ahead and pop, but you know, it still gets to summon. So. Shame, uh, shame Luna didn't get rid of them two tankies, you know. Yeah, they're just stuck down the field doing nothing. Like, alright. Hey, they're making that thing 1800. Don't you have to have another Yusenju monster to resolve that effect? Uh, I think you do, yeah. I think uh, you do, yeah. I don't know what Lunar's clicking, but... Anyway, I mean, if Lunar chooses to, Lunar can get an additional summon off of that Karma 3. The summon was not negated. <laughs> but it doesn't mm-hmm. look like it. I don't know. I don't know what Lunar's doing. But uh, when we talk about traps, though, um, when it comes to traps, the concept of traps, I like the idea of the concept of traps, but it's the execution of how they currently are in the game, which is why they're the problem that they are. And what I mean is, I like the idea of traps, you know, you can have this card or maybe two cards that your opponent's doing something and all of a sudden it's like, ha, I can turn it all around with this trap card. Boom, like that, you know, that's, I like that. That's exciting and that's fun. It keeps you on your toes and thinking, that's cool, you know. But when it's like, oh, like this stuff, set five, pass, or oh, I'm going to one up think, you. I think one the up problem you, one up you, with, one up with the back row and the thing that I don't like that I say that it doesn't really keep you on your toes as much as not really duels with back row is the fact that it surprises you, you know? If you, yeah, if you, like if you the... could see the traps coming from a mile away and you had to play around them, then that's... Yeah, sure. But, you know, how the fuck was I supposed to know that you got a damn bottomless? Now I'm getting punished. How was I supposed to see that coming, you know? As I said, some of the most skilled duels I see is when there's no traps and, you know, you and it's a back and forth duel of resources. That's where I find more skill. But when it's literally Summit Thunder King set fucking five back row and you're just slapping the shit at me at Thunder King and every time I summon something you just back row me. And oh yeah, that's 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 keeping me on my toes, not being able to do shit. You know? And, well, and but, yeah, I'm, but yet I'm not a proponent of, you know, Heavy Storm or Harpy's Feather Dust or whatever coming back, because you gotta weigh out that cards with the more major back row, yes. OCG yeah, can... has Harpy's Fed Dusher, but they also have three bottomless, two three turn and three Capulse, and I'm like, oh hell no about that. Yeah, also the fact that those cards are just blatantly fucking stupid anyway. I mean, let's face it. Oh, Harpy's Feather Duster. Okay, my opponent sets five. Or I'm just gonna play this one card. You lose five fucking cards now. Yeah. Fair? Yeah, yeah, completely fair. Yeah. You know. And then there's a stupid argument I got into on YouTube with people. I'm not going to go too far into it, but people are like, oh, well, Harpy's Feather Duster can come back, but Heavy Storm can't because of pendulums. Yet people seem to get two important factors why Heavy Storm should, if there's going to be a card out of the two, it should come back. It should be Heavy Storms, regardless of pendulums. And that is, one, Wavering Eyes. Anything Heavy Storm can do to b- blow up your pendulum scales and make you plus, Wavering Eyes can do better and then get you a search. And that's at three. Right? Mm-hmm. And two, why? Two, neither of them should come back anyway, because I'm sorry, what if it's a duel where there's not a pendulum there? Oh, well, I play my Harpy's Feather Duster and I just blow your fucking back row up. Like, what? Mm-hmm. You know, said, people was, seem to, people any... seem to forget that decks existed before fucking pendulum monsters, and not every pendulum monster, I mean pendulum deck, is you know Once played. You every time, scale you know? like that. Or the yeah. entire fucking meta currently is not pendulum based. That might change when magic scepters and odd eyes coming out and shit like that, and fun problem trends. You know that might change, but currently the meta isn't even fucking pendulum based. You know, so how are you saying about bringing cards back? 
Yeah. Like, oh, you destroy your own skills and do plays, but shouldn't that be part of the risk? You want to heavy storm me? You want to blow up my back row slash blow up my skill? You should have to blow up your own back row and skills as well. So... Yeah, but no, people are saying like, um, oh, you, you can play, I think there's this performable flame thing that you can put in your skill when it's destroyed, it summons itself as a monster. Wavering Eyes. And it's level do, 4. With, it's level eyes 4. But again, like, shit, I, just, like, I know, exactly like, like I said fuck? to people. Like, oh, exactly. wow, that's so, that's so OP it was a whole... that instead know. of, you know, risking your own back row, I already, we already talked about this whole risk and war thing, how about I just fucking, I set 5, and then I fucking hit, hit Harpy's Feather Dust to you. But you don't want yeah. me to draw my, draw my pendulum scales. Like, no, that's, that's no. Just, I don't even stupid. Even though I can run triple fucking wavering eyes on top of the Harpy's Feather Duster. Like, like, like no. Like, like, I know. Exactly. And when I was telling people that, because like I said, I got into a big fucking long argument with people on YouTube um, about on Galactic Gods video about hey, should Heavy Stone come back and shit like that. And all people were literally saying who were for Harpy's Feather Duster coming back and not Heavy Stone were t these two points. Were these uh, two points were... But Heavy Storm would be OP compared to Harpy's Feather Duster because you can play like perform pulls and other shit in your pendulum zones that get effects, like when they're destroyed or whatever. And you can then use Heavy Storm to blow your own scales up and wipe your opponent's back row. And then you'll either get pluses off the things that are destroyed in your scales, or you'll get more monsters to go into your extra deck to pendulum summon back to make a big monster while wiping your opponent's back row. And the other point that they kept raising were. Um, Oh fuck! I forgot. But, yeah, um, that, that control get that's that like to play I, back row that they can't play heavy storm because they they how they storm their own back row. Is that their argument? No, and they, no, they just were being ignorant and forgetting that like they were acting like pendulum decks were the only decks that fucking exist, pretty much. And I kept reminding people, and every time I kept saying this to people, they said, "Oh well, you don't know what you're on about." And I was like, "Well, tell me what I'm wrong then. Tell me what I'm missing the point then. If you're seeing the point and I'm not, tell me." And they were like, "Oh, you don't know what you're on about." And I was like, "Right, so you're not explaining your point. Thank you for admitting defeat, pretty much." But all I was saying to them is, "Okay." You're saying that Heavy Storm's busted because you can wipe your opponent's back row and you can block your scales to get more monsters into the extra deck to pendulum someone back or, you know, get effects if things are destroyed like that performable flame mascot guy who sums himself as a level 4 monster if he's destroyed in the scale, you know. Yet, you forget that we have triple Wavering Eyes. If Heavy Storm is so fucking busted, Wavering Eyes should be banned too for that same reason, then, shouldn't it? Because, guess what? Okay, sure, it doesn't destroy your opponent's back row on top of your stuff, but you're, you're saying that the main reason Heavy Storm is busted is because it can destroy your scales. Yet, Wavering Eyes destroys your scales and then searches. You even out off Wavering Eyes, you neg off Heavy Storm. If you know, talk about your own cards because you get the search to replace the card that you just fucking played. You know what I mean? As long as you you're know? not counting your scale existence on field and in next. Well, I don't. I never do that. But I know people do. Some people do. Some people don't. I really don't. But because you can get them back anyway. You just pendulum summon them back. So not really resources lost. So, yeah. And the other thing, and the other thing is people just were acting like, you know, Pendrum decks are the only decks that exist. Uh, pretty sure decks existed way fucking before Pendulums, you know? And how unfair is it that if you're not playing a Pendulum deck, oh yeah, I can just Harpy's Feather Dust to you or Heavy Storm you and you lose all your fucking cards? Like, oh yeah, that's completely fair. Like only fucking third of the meta, really, Rami. Yeah, <laughs> you know. And again, when people were like, oh, well, tell me why... Pendulum decks that aren't relevant. I'm like, well, look at the meta currently. Sure, Pendulum decks that are coming out might be meta in the future. They probably will be. But currently, none of the meta is Pendulum based. Zero of it. So how can you tell me that Pendulum decks are the only decks relevant? I said, um, but anyway, that's it. I'm off my soapbox. I just think it was completely ignorant and stupid of them to say that. Whatever. I said, whether it's OCG or TCG, there's like one Pendulum deck that's good. So... I don't know. I think Magic Scepters are pretty good, aren't they, in OCG? And then you've got Performer, paid, Performer, oh, yeah. Friends, and Pals, yeah. I was talking about Tier 1 decks. Yeah, well, Magic Scepters are about... Tier 1, aren't they? No, they're like 1.5. They dropped. Are they? Yeah. Oh. Well, they'll um, probably be one over here, it's, because... It's, it's Monarchs, Performer, Major, and Pals, and Burning Abyss. Those are top tier decks. But they oh. still... But, you know, be aware, you know? It's, it's just like... Like, yeah, fucking... Burning Abyss and like and Necros are a top tier deck, but you know, be aware of like Satellers and Zerdals. Like it's like like that. Mm -hmm. They they can they can take an advantage too, but they're not the main dog. They're not the top dog.
Anyway, we see that Steez go ahead and just destroy him. That losing turn, we think it would be doing more, but no. No, <laughs> like not really, because Omega it. can just play around it on his, you know, on Luna's turn, and then by the time it rolls around to Omega's turn, the effects are back. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Yeah, not the best of cards to be playing against uh, these Ritual Beasts. Nope. At least the duel actually progressed while we were sitting here ranting about fucking... Heavy Storm, Harpy, Feather Dust, and Everything bullshit, yeah. just stupid with Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> so, no. Yeah. So, uh, if, if I could... If you say, Daniel, Harpy's Feather Dust or Heavy Storm, I'd be like, neither. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm like, neither, too. I don't think either should come back, because why should you... Like I said, I just don't like the idea that your opponent... I know, I know it would punish your opponent for setting five in the first place, but I still don't think it's healthy, no matter what no matter what, that your opponent can set cards, and you can just be like, play one card, wipe multiple cards of yours. That's not good. No. You know? And don't even say that, Har that uh, Dark Hole and friggin' Heavy Storm, not Heavy Storm, Dark Hole and Regeki are the same as Harpy's Feather Duster and Heavy Storm. They're not in the same boat. At all. You know? You can wipe monsters. Okay, that's cool. You can wipe, like, say, two or three monsters with a Regeki or a a dark hole does it put your opponent at a disadvantage yeah it puts your opponent at a fucking disadvantage but it doesn't take them out of the duel entirely i've seen people when like i said i was playing when heavy storm in the last like and when i started playing Yu-Gi-Oh was the end of full power dragon ruler format pretty much like two or three weeks before the end of that format and so i've played with and versus heavy storm and i've wiped fucking people when they set three or four or five you know and people say oh well Huge Revolution is over slash uh, Starlight Road, but people, I, when I was playing Heavy Storm anyway, when it was legal, people some people didn't fucking play that because it was a used card that's only there for a Heavy Storm, and if your opponent doesn't get the Heavy Storm, it does nothing in your fucking deck. Mm -hmm. You know? By that logic, then why aren't people playing it right now for Dark Hole Regeki? Yep. But anyway, like I said, enough of that. I just don't think any of them should come back. They should all stay banned. They're too powerful. I just don't want the background to come back. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, well, yeah. I'd rather deal with one Book of Moon, one Bombless, one Compulse, one Warning. At least that's one, but as soon as, you know, even mention him and go Heavy Storm or fucking, uh, Happy Shredder doesn't come back, all of a sudden it's just like, oh, well, turn to a three and, like, Bottomless to three, and I'm like, no, 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 no. That's even worse. Like I said, the ratio is already bad. So if I can go ahead and just lose my one Heavy Storm to take away, you know, wait, what? Bottomless was, I think, at two and... Bottomless was at two, Compulse was at three, um... Torrential was at two. Torrential was at two, yeah. Yeah, so if solemn, I can go ahead and take them solemn, down... Solemn Warning was at two, Solemn Judgment was at one. Yep, so if I can go ahead and take them down with the exchange of my one Heavy Storm, then deal. Mm-hmm. There's just a dog outside, just yippy up in it out middle. I thought down. that was Rennie. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go outside and punt that dog. <laughs> so, and now it looks like Lunar's on defenses. What the hell? Like, no. Like, no vanities and freaking fiendish. Like, stop that, stop that. I got that back though now. Like, damn. I think I really should maybe consider hole. playing some um, magical planters. To get rid of his face up shit. Like apart from micro cosmos. Oh, you'd be nice. I mean is there any is there any other continuous trap that they play? Uh not really. That's what I'm saying. If it's just fiendish then nah. You gotta do a little bit better than that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have a consistent. More. Now if you're playing like fiendish and you know, call and oasis and all of that, then yeah, sure. Uh, that card is so fucking good in Yang Sings. Um Thingy, remember, uh, magical plants, that's it. So good in Yang Sings. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna draw... Or no? no, they wouldn't miss timing, I don't think, on that. Hmm. So, I don't think they would. I mean, I mean, it seems like a card that Yang Sing players would play, but then I'd never see anybody even play it, not even Jeff Jones. I, I, maybe they miss Yeah, time. well, to be fair, you'd think they'd play Skill Drain, and some of them don't. Don't they? Some don't. No, some don't because they're like, well, I don't want to guarantee that I'll get the Bixie, you know what I mean? Then it might fuck up the rest of my stuff. When this card you control is to show, yeah, you missed Tommy. Oh, you do? Oh, all right, never mind. If said if, then no. But yeah, you missed Tommy. Oh. So that's why they don't oh. play it. I was, like, I was like, that sounds like a great idea. How come they don't do that? Yeah. Actually, that's, why, that's definitely why I played it in my shitty ass gradles because they, they're if, so they don't miss timing. <laughs> 
thought you loved Gradles. No. I thought they're the best around. No. Ain't nothing ever gonna keep them down. No. They're not magic sacks. Dude, I would get, I get so dirty with that deck. Like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, oh, punch this one my Magic Scepter, set some back row. All right, quick this one with Moon Mirror Shield. You ain't attacking over him. And uh, just to cherry on top, quick that one with Mage Power. <laughs> mm. What do you think of Apex Avian? Do you reckon that might get banned? Since pretty much every fucking Pendulum deck is playing Apex fucking Avian to some you degree. You mean like in OCG or in I mean, OCG, but in OCG, but when the cards come out in TCG, you know we'll fucking copy them. I mean, and do if the we do shit. it, we do it. I mean, the thing with it is, it depends on how consistent the pendulum scales are set up and how broad they are. Because if you're if you're not consistent enough to pull off the pendulum scales, it doesn't just dead draw out the ass. Mm. You know, I, I mean, oh. I, d I doubt they'll go to the extreme of banning it just because it's not searchable. They might go ahead and limit it though. I can see that. Yeah. I could definitely see it limiting it. Yeah. But ban? No. It's not ban worthy. No. Like I said, this this upcoming list whenever it comes, in my opinion, there's just not a lot of cards that even deserve to be banned. Like, not too many. Okay, and that's probably game. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably game. Some that, some that Leo, plenty of that banish, and then just attack, attack, attack. Yep, attack, attack, attack. Are we finally done with at least game Match. one? Game one, yeah. Yeah, not even that time. Yeah. Game one. Holy thing. shit. All right, so see you in the next... Oh, no, man. I edited it. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking forgot I edited that <laughs> shit. I was like, okay, see you in the next one. Okay, never mind. Future me... I mean, not future me. Past me edited it. <laughs> well, well, well done, past me. I like that you made asshole. You made future me look like an ass. <laughs> Get a cookie. <laughs> oh, God. Alright, so game two. Hopefully this goes fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's just there's not too many. Do you have some kind of idea that I'm not seeing? Oh, you're mulliganing. Yeah, he's oh. mulliganing. Uh, like I said, when That was a mulligan. I was, was just because you sent you I was like I was like, wait, are you summoning, 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 summoning? Like, why would you do the first turn? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I didn't see the molly there. I was like, wait, yeah. what? Like, when, why? Uh, like, so could just like go I back said, we were in the Skype call, and when Luna said, I want some mulligan, I said, okay, we'll type mulligan in the thing and reveal the card, so when we're post-coming, we can see. And you fucking missed it, even though I told, made him do that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, if it was anything but you sent you, that wouldn't be confusing. Just because it was the send you, it just looked like you just mm -hmm. something, 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 That's something, what they something, all something. say. I'm like, what the fuck? Ah. <laughs> uh. I said, uh, I'd say, if anything, I mean, I, like I said, Regeki banned in Dark Hole of Three. I wouldn't, I would, I would prefer that, but I, you know, if you don't do that, I won't be surprised. I would personally prefer just Dark Hole stay at two and Regeki banned, because, uh, yeah, fuck that. I mean, I, I'm also looking at the the mass destruction ratio in both OGG and CCG, and it seems like everybody's good with four. Because once you step past four, like ARG, it gets a little bit too much. So four mass destruction cards seems. Like yeah, how is fine. how is it doing in ARG with multiple? I think they yeah. got multiple TT now, isn't it? Yeah, they got multiple TTs. I think they they ban Regeki. They ban Regeki. That but TT's worse than Regeki. I mean, better. You know. But what I mean? once again, I mean, yes, it is. But like I said, just the whole risk versus reward thing. Apparently in ARG, they're like it, it was just getting too sacky. Like oh yeah, because fucking... pen because pendulum decks really fucking love hate it when they have to torrential tribute their own fucking monsters and they just go right back to the extra that to pendulum. Hey, it depends. Yeah. I know. I mean, and Yang sometimes Zing's in Cleaves, I mean, I mean, I have like this tributed summoning tribute summon fucking stealth. Like, I'd rather not torrential that. <laughs> so, like I said, there's just Christmas award. Uh, there's at least, at least there's something to it. Yeah. You know? Would you rather me have a stealth and then torrential tribute you and then there goes my stealth, or me just throw the regeki at you, then come at you with that stealth? So, so yeah. I per I'd personally rather you didn't but do I, I believe either. ARG. I know they have regeki ban. I believe they have. I want to say two torrentals, and I'm not sure how many dark holes. I think I want to say three or two. It's one of the two, but you know, high destruction. And and OCG, it's. One dark hole, but three torrentials, which I think is fucking crazy. But all of them are risk versus reward. While we, us, we're two dark holes, one torrential, one regeki. You know what I just realized? Yeah. Two things. What? Problems with this video. What? One, I didn't when it, in editing I didn't uh, disable the, my mouse showing on screen, <laughs> which is annoying to watch. And two, 
I didn't make it full fucking screen to, you know, stretch it out to fit the screen. <laughs> well, I mean, if you have time, you can always just go ahead and plop that back into your Camtasia and do that editing and then re-render it, upload it, and give it back to me. It doesn't have I mean, to yeah, I guess, there. and you can just go out, keep the audio file, and then sync it up. Yep. All right, yeah, fair enough. We're good, we're good. They don't need to know the background information here. <laughs> <laughs> it said nothing much is happening, just Omega fucking touching their self with fucking Ritual Beast like usual. No surprise there. So I guess we'll just continue talking. So like I said, I think I think four mass destruction cards is fine. But the ones that you choose, I think, are really a big factor. You know, Torrental mm. is fine at one. It's under spot at one. But I, I just think Regeki is sacking. Dark Hole's fine at two or even... I just I said you can have you can have three. If if we're gonna take I say if we're gonna go ahead and take your Regeki, then sure, you can have three Dark Hole. Who's gonna play three Dark Hole? I, I kinda felt like when it comes to cards like that, the whole ratio and the scheme schematics of the ratio, I think that if we even it out it's fine, you know? Yeah, I'll take your I'll ban your BLS. I'll give you a Chaos Sorcerer, but I'm gonna ban that BLS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I kinda felt like don't you feel like that? Like Regeki, Dark Hole, Chaos Sorcerer, BLS are like in the same exact boat together? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> One's like absolutely dumb. And it's like that. That's not even fucking fair in comparison to the more balanced version of it. Yeah, I know. But hey, what are we gonna do, right? <laughs> like, sure, go ahead, ban Regeki of Dark Hole Three. Now I don't have to worry about the fucking number generator anymore. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> tell you the truth. I mean, if if that actually happened, if Regeki got banned in Dark Hole One after Three, who would really play Three Dark Holes? Yang Zing. I guess Yang Zing's gonna go maybe Pendulum decks like say Magic. I don't, please don't even do that. I know, but I could see Magiceps maybe doing it to A, wipe their opponent's monsters because they have a problem with authority figures, if, even if they don't. Even, I know you can run I mean, Mirror I Shield. I don't have a problem with authority figures. I know figures. you can run <laughs> Equip spells, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, you might not. Okay. You might not. You I might see not you're coming from there. Yeah. So I could see Magiceps is running Triple Dark Hole. Yeah, that's fine. But like I said, that's, that's two decks out of how many? And, and it'd help them. Oh, they'd Cosmos, blow themselves yeah. up. Yeah, and Cosmos. I, and it'd help Magiceptors. They'd blow themselves up just to re pendulum summon themselves as again. As long as you scale them in, but you, are, you guys already know how to yeah. handle Magiceptors, so we don't even tell you how to do that. Um... Odd Eyes. <laughs> I could see Odd Eyes just doing that. Not if they have something yeah, like. Yeah, well, not if they have like. Vortex, not if they have like the fusion or. Um... I really don't feel like Odd Eyes is going to do much sure. without Vortex. No. I'd say if you want to kill Odd Eyes deck, you kill the Vortex. But we don't even have Vortex, so that's nothing. I know, that's what I mean. Oh, right, we're not getting Vortex. It's not in the structure deck. Oh. So, <laughs> like, not really, no. Yeah. It's interesting that Lunar slotted in Prohibition. That's a little bit slow. F you, you, I mean, wait, did you, wait, did he go... Lunar lost, so Lunar decided to go second? No, Lunar went first. Lunar went first, he just didn't get it. Okay, never mind, they're yeah. fine. You know, Prohibition is definitely one of them cards that you want to open up with first, but, you know, the later it gets in the game, the worse it gets. <laughs> yeah. It's the same with, um, well, it's not the same, it's, don't the play it's it. similar, but in reverse with cards like Yangzing Path, where, you know, early game, you don't really want to open up with it, late game, you do want it. Like, what, please don't play it, BA don't play it. Should always don't play it. Like, there's not a lot no of one plays it. Necros doesn't no play it. There's not plays. a lot of, no, I'm talking about Dark Hole. Oh, Dark Hole. There's I'm not, not a lot of decks out now that play the Dark Hole, so... No. Used to be. Used to be, like, sort of part of the engine, didn't it? Regeki Double Dark Hole. Yeah, but then people started stacks, stepping away because they like... started, like, you know what? Fuck this. I don't want to destroy my own monster. I'd rather play Mirror Force. Yeah. Well, uh, maybe slower. At least I'm only killing your monsters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I, I, really, that's the only thing I find. I mean, unless you don't do the fucking list for, like, a fucking millennium, make all the sales on your tins, and you just copy off of OCG and ban Norton. But besides that, I'm good. <laughs> you don't need to really ban anything else. Yeah. We were screaming fucking fucking 2012 at Royal Magic Library and the fucking chicken game FTK shit, and that didn't do anything. <laughs> I don't even think it topped once, like not even once. <laughs> I know. I love it on Dev Pro. It's got like you know you can like play it online. Oh yeah, 80 to 95 percent win ratio. Never fucking did anything in real life. Like, yeah, so whenever I went down to that, fucking locals, that there is just prime proof that, that decks that wreck shit on fucking dev pro and dn and shit like that might not still do well in real life because i think people use that as a benchmark sort of way too much don't they you know what i mean like if I mean, the deck's the doing is, really like, what, well generally they go ahead and what duel of you know a, a game a single game you're not ready but then you got to not only deal with whatever they're siding against you but it's much broader you know it's much there's a much broader 
uh, and player plus base. you have a number generator crush. Yep, and then the number generator crush is not the same as you know your opponent shuffling and cutting your deck. Definitely not. So no. So yeah, I think that's what people do though. They're all like, oh yeah, well this deck wrecks facing like singles on death row and fucking the end. So it's going to be like super meta, ultra good in real life. And I'm just like, maybe, maybe not. You know, I'm not saying it won't be. It could be. It could like you know, for example, Odd Eyes, or you know, which was doing really fucking well when it first came out on Dev Pro. That could come out and that could wreck fucking face. We don't know for sure till it happens. You know, all we can do is guess. So, uh, I don't know what's happening here. Yeah, just seen so a Repengu, a... I'm, I'm seeing a Repengu and an Elder. Yeah, he split it up because I'm assuming that that Karma, what is that, two? Or is it two the one that bounces or one? I, I get those two next up. One, two, uh, and three. Mm-hmm. Three is the searcher. Two yeah. is the attack directly and one is the bouncer, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah, so I'm guessing Karma one targeted and then I'm going to decide to go ahead and split up into two and sucks that, uh, Lunar MST that damn steed, so. I know. In the, in the Skype call, Luna was like, I'm going to snipe. Throws the MST, hits the st- one steed, and Omega Chaos was like, are you kidding me? I'm like, ha <laughs> Luna is officially the sniper of the league because uh, with Mind Crush and then that MST, he's officially MLG2 t- Pro Sniper. Yep. Get all the Doritos and Mountain Dew over to Luna's house immediately. Give that man a sponsorship. Oh, and there's that one Steeds. Not Steeds, uh, Bonds. <laughs> Is that one Steeds? You know, they, they hit you with yeah. the Steeds and they summon their monsters back with Steeds, ambush Steeds, and then... <laughs> yes, everything, just call everything Steeds. Hey, that's what they're good at. Yeah. I'd say Ritual Beast of Fallen to Tier 2. I do too. I do too. Yeah. I did, it I was one point five for a while, sort of sometimes one, you could argue, but you know, not really. It's just they they go yeah. up and down with how good destruction is and how aggressive the format is. Yeah. Uh, my problem with Ritual Beast is that they're too inconsistent in comparison to how aggressive the game is right now. Yeah. You know, you, if you don't open up well enough you're fucked. Yeah, yeah. No. You, yeah, go against Necros and fucking open and brick. Well, let's see how well you do. Yeah, with Necros and Shadows and the rank fours with how aggressive you can push in, with Norden and uh, with Cosmos. It's just and so fa- much aggressive you go. And the fact that they uh, can't even side in or main two very important cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, which are Mistake and Imperial Iron Wall. I know. Like, those, those they two can't traps. do that. Those okay, two traps fucking, fucking people so fucking different. pointing their finger at fucking lose one turn. Like, fuck lose one turn. You'd be pointing your finger at Imperial Iron Wall. Imperial Iron Wall, yeah. Like, yeah. Especially Imperial Iron Wall. Like, holy shit. That is yeah. the floodgate of the format. Man, fuck lose one turn. Like, you see that in what? The occasional Klee and fucking Yusinji. But Imperial Iron Wall, like, holy shit. Like, see that, that is so much. Like, fuck Necros, fuck Cosmos, fuck Ritual, be fucking Infernoids. Like, god damn. Yeah. Which means I even want to play any of those decks in competitive life just because of Imperial Iron Wall being at 3. <laughs> well, like, talking of Imperial Iron Wall, the fucking irony of it was, even when people were maining Imperial Iron Wall in Dragon Ruler format, it still didn't hurt them. Yeah. It just shows the power of that deck. Yep. You'd, you'd have to get a nice combo. You'd have to get, like, a combination. Like, it, ha- mm-hmm. it couldn't just be, like, Imperial Iron Wall. I got it to be Imperial Iron Wall plus something else to get them. Yeah. To stop. Like, you, can't, you can't just get one. No, but yeah, but hey, oh, and people... you can and you can you can you could you. The funny thing is, you could play either. You could either flip up an Imperial Iron Wall on it, and on its own, it wouldn't do shit to him. Or you could flip up Macro Cosmos, and it'd help him. <laughs> Be like, oh, I'll flip up Macro Cosmos. Oh, cheers for that. Yeah, I'm just gonna send these things there to there, and then I'll get this, and then it'll get banished. I'll get such, and I'll do this. Yeah, that's so lovely. Thank you. Anything. Anything. I said, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like talking about lose one turn because I I come across as biased. Mm. I don't know. I don't think it should be personally at three. It, it it conflicts with the whole reason that they put skill drain down. They put skill drain down 
because it was being used in everything, it was being a floodgate. And then, like, here's lose one turn, which, okay, it isn't for the whole turn, but let's face it, that turn that you negated, you're probably not going to keep the monster until your next turn. I'm just saying. So, you know, I think it shouldn't be banned, obviously, but I don't, I don't know, maybe hit it to two or one. You know, you can have your one lose one turn, and you can have your one fucking skill drain, and there you are. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to talk about losing a turn because I come across as biased. I don't think it's that bad of a card. Depends really what you're facing, though. Right, okay. it, should, it, 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 should, it depends on what you're facing depends. and what hands it's in. Because even in Cleves, which you generally play it, it's still bad. <laughs> yeah. Like, it seems like a more... Like, it's definitely a more balanced version of... Uh, of skill drain. Of skill drain. Yeah. Like, if you were going to make a more balanced version of skill drain, I mean, that's as best as you're going to get, so... This happens to I, be that, I think that the whole the uh, it turns it to defense as well sort of makes it in some cases worse than skill drain because you know skill drain okay fire enough your effect was but then keep in mind that that whole defense thing is actually what saves you from the cleaves. That's true, but you then again, it also, it, also, it also allows you to get it also allows the opponent to get over monsters they really shouldn't be able to, you know. Like what? I, like, I don't know, like, there are, there are tons of times, like, that can happen in games where someone or someone's up with high attack and, like, okay-ish defense, they'll fucking lose one turn, they'll negate the effect, flip it to defense, and it's like, okay, cool, on my turn, I can just fucking run over you now. I couldn't have run over you if you were in attack mode, but now I can run over you because you're in defense, so that, yeah. I also don't like, I also like that you can't just play lose one turn whenever. Yeah. But you can, you can only activate when you control no special summon monsters, I like that too. Yeah, that's good. Like I said, it's definitely a more balanced version of Skill Drain. I just still think it's not... A f I don't think it's too healthy at three. It was a card that was so fucking... like It was the it was Skill Drain 2.0 when it first came out, pretty much. And then it sort I, of I, has I, gone I, off. It seems and then it, it sort of has gone off. But you can just tell it will come back later. It's, it's going to be a problem that will keep coming fucking back. It's going to be there. I'd say two. Two or one. I wouldn't say it should no, be. No, it's not worthy at one. You can't, like I said, yeah. you can't put it in the same boat as skill drain. Oh, it's skill drain. I know you can't. That's like why I'm like, eh, hey, you, you know, <laughs> uh, you know. No, I, yeah, I think two is fair. Because mm. it's definitely not skill drain. No. You know, that's like saying, that's like putting, you know, Imperial, I mean, that's like putting Vanities in the same boat as Royal Oppression. It's not. <laughs> no, no. I think that's, that's the same exact situation. You know, they recreated a more balanced version of the card, but yet it's still kind of busted. Yeah. But why? Why are we talking about this? You know, if you guys, of course, watch watch league and stuff uh, tomorrow, you will be getting my uh, Bama's prediction for whenever the fuck it is. <laughs> the twelfth of never. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I love how Konami are like, oh no, we don't put lists, uh, dates on our lists in TCG because we uh, we want to research. I'm like, you fucking don't want to research. You just can't be asked putting that thing so you can just put it out whenever and you just be like, fuck you, we'll do it when we want. Damn, God damn, I hate <laughs> Daniel, still going I'm, what, on. Daniel, have you eaten a fucking monster truck for your lunch? Yep. Just burnt the engine. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, and the plays are set up. Well, you know, once once ritual beasts go off, they once ritual they're... beasts are set up. You, it's very hard to shift them. Mm -hmm. You know, I like to think of ritual beasts as a sort of deck that's. It's one of those decks that once it's it like it's hard to describe, but it's like sort of at first it's very shaky. And then as soon as it does like a little bit, it's a snowball effect, and you're just gonna keep getting fucked over and over and over and over. And oh, over. you mean like Infernities? Yeah, that's exactly why I love Infernities so much. Um, In Infernities is my favorite archetype. Mm -mm. Infernities is my least favorite archetype. Yeah, well, that's just because you uh, don't appreciate them. No, there's nothing to appreciate. There I'm is. glad. I'm fucking Archfiend can stay at one for forever. Oh, we can go bring barriers to three and put Archfiend to three. And also put Infernity Launch to free. Just put everything back to free. It's all right. Don't need it anymore. As I said, you, when you got hit, you weren't dead. And then they hit that little wall chain. And I was like, 
Ooh, not with sorry. that. Sorry. <laughs> Shit, if fucking Infernities couldn't get the bottle chain banned, then nothing could. Yeah. You banned it because of you, Val. Like I said, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> I said, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my ban list prediction so far, and you guys will, of course, get it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, nice combination of predicting Konami in conjunction with me being just you know, trying to predict what Konami's going to do. And you know, I think I think so far, looking at it, I think that if this was the actual list, I think everybody would be pretty fine with it. Mm. But yeah, you'll have to wait for tomorrow. I know, I'm such, I'm such a meanie. Not only do I make, make you wait for my ban list prediction for tomorrow, and I make you wait for the finale, like it's fucking second. Fucking tell me right now, you're Like, bitch. all you get today is fucking third place. <laughs> Like, y'all even paid attention. We're not paying attention to what's going on with between Omega and Lunar. Y'all ain't paying attention either. <laughs> Except the duel is over. God damn. Know, we're still watching. Like, God damn. Like, that's it. That's it. Uh, no, Luna, give it you up. You guys can go ahead and close the video. We'll see you in the match, too. Because, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> I got that Harpy's Feather Duster. <laughs> God damn. Luna's thinking. He's thinking over there. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yep. It's not gonna work, but go ahead. I, said, I, I don't like the matchup. I don't think this is gonna fucking work in a million years. What do you think of the matchup overall? Well, of Ritual Beast versus Yusenju? Mm -hmm. I think it. Well, I, like I said, I play Yusenju, so I could. Not Yusenju, Ritual Beast. Why do I say Yusenju? Mm -hmm. I hate that deck. <laughs> I, so I, I'm I'm not gonna really comment too much because when it comes to Ritual Beast and Yusenju, I'm biased on both sides. Like for example, I'm biased on Ritual Beast because I play them and I like them because they remind me of Infinities, and I'm bi biased against Yusenju because they're sort of I see them as sort of their rival. You know, they're both a deck that you know, oh, play a load of Battle and stuff like that. They came out in the same set. They're both Wind. You know, <laughs> archetype. So. I don't know. I so I don't like Yusenju because they're a bat row deck and they're also Ritual Beast sort of rival deck. And I like Ritual Beast, so I really couldn't comment about the matchup. God oh, damn. Yep, you're getting four pop. God damn, that is a four pop. Holy shit, four mm. pop. That 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 that's game. That's more than a fucking fire like. Damn. <laughs> you don't even tribute. Nope. That's the, the only thing that's keeping Steeds from not getting pointed at is that it only pops monsters instead of fucking back row. If it popped back row, oh my god. That'd be yeah. fucking wanting Steeds' head. If there was like, another Ritual Beast trap that actually like did a sim the same job as Steeds, but for the back row, like, ouch. Yeah, holy shit. Uh, pop, 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 and that is game. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, Luna? You want to hit that admit defeat button? Mm -hmm. Nope. Luna's like, no. <laughs> I will not. I will go down like a man. And I respect that. Luna, you're a boy. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All I, all I, when you said that, all I could imagine was Luna's squeaky voice going, I'm not bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 like when he fucked up that time when he had that when you know his computer was having issues and he came back for that one fucking week in uh his tagging series and he fucked up for fucking death for should doll tell us <laughs> doing too much i'm not bad i'm sorry mm. i actually sounded quite like luna i'm impressed with myself <laughs> It's gonna be in the comments like you did not sound like me, you fucking asshole. Angry type. Well, no. So that's it. Maybe one thing that would improve for next le for league next season would be um, our commentary being more focused on the duel and sort of talking less you know just less random shit and random tangents like we like for example like this video and random i mean skits. nothing's happening nothing is happening that's true like i don't know maybe i need to watch more live streams how they commentate when it comes to you no know, like or maybe CS's i just watch and stuff i don't yeah. know because or maybe it just, just watch like uh, nothing happened. i'd say i'd say simo's uh, tournament, the Yugi Tubing tournament, that one that he did had pretty good commentary, even though some of the matches were slow. Like Yang Zing, so play your one Yang Zing set five back row, like damn. Yep. They made it pretty yep. legit. 
Anyway, people, there you go. So that is the end of match one for third place for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League Season 1. So mm -hmm. I hope that you guys enjoy. Be back in about two hours and see match two and match three if necessary an hour after match two. So thank you, Stanzi, for joining me. No problem. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And we will see you soon.